Hi everyone, welcome back to Joe's Denture channel again with another video, right? I've been putting videos a lot out. I'm a yo. Uh, today we are uh, diving into a crucial topic that can save you from a lot of pain and hassle. The importance of knowing your tooth number, okay? Your tooth number. Each tooth in the mouth has a specific number assigned to, which can help dentists identify the teeth accurately. This system is standardized and used worldwide to ensure there is no confusion when it comes to dental care. There is no confusion, okay? When it comes to dental care, confusion. Sometimes there is confusion. There is. That's why I'm making this video for you to kind of um, know what's up. Anyway, uh, let me turn the camera and we're gonna be gonna be showing you some diagrams. Let's look at this diagram. Understand better. Okay, this is this this is old diagram, okay? Probably 20 years old. As you can see, upper teeth are numbered from 1 to 16. You know, this is the upper. A number from 1 to 16, right here. It starts from the upper right to the upper left. Upper right to the upper left. Okay, so it is, and then for little kids, they have this alphabets. You know, little kids is another way of identifying uh, the teeth. The upper incisors, the upper incisors, pointing here, the upper incisors, which are the front teeth, okay? The upper incisor, I hope you have seen this, front teeth are number eight and number nine, okay? The lower numbers are from 17 to 32. 17 to 32. Some people don't have those wisdom tooth right here. Those are the wisdom tooth. Some people don't have them. Right? With the central incisor being numbered, central incisor. I hope you can see my thing. Okay. Here. Yeah. Okay. 24 and a 25. One of the most common and unfortunate mistake of a dentist to extract the wrong tooth. I mean, I'm saying it. It's common mistakes. Extract the wrong tooth. This happened due to miscommunication or misunderstanding of the tooth number. Imagine going to the dentist and simple procedure end up with the wrong tooth being pulled. Okay. Imagine going there and then having that wrong tooth being pulled. Not only is painful, but it's also lead to additional procedure and cost. Imagine pull the wrong tooth and additional procedure. <laughs> fix the error if it's fixable why if it's not fixable right you're gonna have I mean, I'm just devastated I mean, I'm being like flipping out so how you can prevent this from happening how can you prevent it I mean that's why I'm having some tips here for you some tips you know like I said I'm just doing this as a Personal opinion, um, I'm just doing this to kind of a let you know in informative video, right? This is, you know, we are in America. We have the right to say whatever we want. And actually, first, always ask to see your x-ray. You have to ask to see your x-ray. You know, it will show a picture of your mouth and will show how everything... Uh, looks, you might have an x-ray of a full mouth, you know, like that. This is, it will show x-ray, 
and how everything is. It's, I mean, imagine you're still young, you having your teeth, and then, uh, or if you still have your teeth, um, you need to see your X-ray uh, any before any procedure. Confirm the teeth numbers with your dentist. Confirm it. You need to know what teeth are gonna be pulled. That's why you need to know, right? Just check it out. The chart, what teeth is being pulled. Second, be proactive. You know, I'm just consistently talking about being proactive and people ask questions. Be annoying, please be annoying. Ask a lot of questions. Uh, if you are unsure about which tooth is being treated, it's okay to double check and make sure everyone is on the same page. Okay, it's the number 12, right? Uh, okay, that's what's going to get fixed. Number 12. No, this is getting pulled. Okay, number 12. Number 13, that's, that's, the, that's the language you hear. Number 13. Oh, number... No, the 18 is getting pulled. Okay, show me in a chart. Uh, and then you check your mouth. You also check your mouth. Show me in a chart. You also check, you know... Come on, you, you need to know, you need to know, you know. So, if it's a, if it's a tooth number uh, number five, you know, you need to know if it's a tooth number five. It's just, it's being out of there already, you know. So, come on, be proactive. Third, check the treatment plan. Ensure both in a dentist, again, are clear about the tooth in question. You, you have to. Be aware. He has to be aware. What tooth is like this person here? This partial. Um, I I can see that in the past is missing that is is this tooth is being out for a little while and has a little space here. When you get your partial, you have to say, "Hey, uh, is my number thirteen getting getting something in there?" Is my number 13 getting something? You know, I like that tooth to, I, I don't like that gap in there. I need that number 13 to um, to be able to cover. Well, remember, it's your mouse. You have every right to be fully informed about any dental procedure. It's your mouse. Don't hesitate to speak up and ask for clarification. Being proactive. You know, being proactive can save you from unnecessary pain and complication. Ensure you receive the best possible uh, care. You know, remember, it is your mouth. You deserve to be the most annoying and ask a lot of questions. You must ask a lot of questions about you partial about what you're getting and you don't have to just be quiet there and and uh, be taken for granted and not be just shut your mouth out and be quiet remember right i'm gonna show you this shot again it's kind of old older than a lot of people number one right the um, they have a, every single tooth. So you can just imagine, uh, imagine that number one is there. It always being pulled, okay, like here, okay. So if you see this model, doesn't have a number one yet. Doesn't have a number one. It can be a kid, young, you know. Number one, it is the uh, Winston tooth, you know. You just touch your right, the right part of your face, you know, is the number one, okay? The number two is the second molar, is the second molar. The number two is the second molar, okay? The number three on your right, right, on your right face, um, the number three is your first molar. I'm just kind of getting confused here. The number one is your question. The number two um, is your third. And number three is your first molar right here. You know, number three. 
So number three, you remember, is your right molar. So those are the teeth that always have issues uh, getting fixed. And uh, they get crowns, they get crowns, they get bridges, they get, you know, whatever it is. Look at the little kids here. Because, you know, they are denominated with alphabets. You know, they will talk about the A or the B or the C or the D or the E or the F. You you might kind of identify yourself when you take your kid to a dentist. You know, uh, most common teeth that sometimes they have a problem you know, are the back teeth, sometimes they have a cavities, and you're going to use those terminology, number 14, you know, the number uh, 15, you know, so number 16 uh, is no longer, it's not on this model, but it's not there, it's going to be pulled out. Normally, people don't need a number 16, which is the wisdom tooth, you know, so, uh the A and 9, you know, the 8 and a 9, you know, even when you take your son to a uh, doctor to get braces, do you, they use that terminology. It's like here, the A and 9 is overlapping and needs to be stressed out. The, the, um, the uh, ortho wires are going to come straight up to fix this tooth, and you're going to have that familiarity with a tooth number. It's important just, you know, to learn your tooth number so this way uh, you don't get into this mess. Anyway, I will say thank you for watching. I hope this video has given you the value insights into the importance of knowing your tooth number and being vigilant during the dental visit. If you have any questions or want to share experiences, please leave a comment. And I love to hear from you. Share and subscribe uh, if you're not my subscriber yet. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. And uh, talk to you later.